If I were to meet myself back in time, it wouldn't be that hard to just think about what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm just gonna be like, there's certain times in life where like you're gonna you're gonna go through stuff where it's obviously gonna be natural and everybody's obviously gonna go through this once in their life. And um, to not really care, I think like, I would tell myself to not really care what people say because sometimes people tell me one thing and then I take it too personal when I know they're just meaning it as a joke. I would tell my younger self that there are a set of negative rights that you have when it comes to masculinity and expressing yourself. Oh, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be fit, you're supposed to have a girlfriend, you're supposed to have a job, you know, have money, you're supposed to have all these things that other men have, like, you know, you're supposed to have a phone, iPhone 7 or whatever. And those set of negative rights are, you have the right not to be ridiculed for expressing yourself like any other human would you have the right not to be forced to conform to a manufactured form of what it means to be a man and third of all and this is the most important one you have the right not to have your individuality stripped away if I could go back in time with the knowledge that I have and tell my 10 year old self how to be a man, I think it would kind of be rejecting uh, that notion. And I think I would be telling my 10 year old self a lot of the things uh, that my earlier role models did at the time, which was just be yourself and more people are going to, are going to enjoy who you are if you enjoy who you are yourself. Well, men have a certain role to live up to. They are, supposed to be portrayed as strong, not show any kind of emotion. If they even show at least one emotion like sadness or you're starting to cry, then the uh, media along with everyone else in the world will just portray you as weak, won't respect you as much. Wake up, because the world is full of people that has their own opinions about what a man is. Once you ask someone to define it, you realize that uh, it's really, it really can't be anything. I mean, I know how uh, it has been described to me, but I know anyone could counter with anything that I say would be defined as a man. Uh, so I guess, I guess there really is no definition of a man.